What's up boys, today we're going to be doing a player review on Showdown Objective Tiago Mendez, 88 rated. This is one of the first Showdown Objective cards we've ever had. That's what the new promo is. It's Objective cards and SBC Showdown cards are going to be released throughout the week, every single day. So I'm really, really excited to see what other cards we get. But these two cards, it's Yarmolenko and Tiago Mendez. Uh, Leon play, plays West Ham and the Europa League on Thursday, so... Big match coming up. So if Leon win, this Thiago Mendes will get a plus two overall, two and ninety. And if they draw, he'll get a plus one, two and eighty nine. And if they lose, no upgrades. Sad times. But for the card, you need to assist two goals with crosses. Not bad in the league. Un, in the league, un, game mode, score two outside the box goals, win four matches, and then score using players with min four star weak foot in eight separate matches. So eight matches it will take you. Not super bad, not super timely either. And you get this absolutely beautiful card. Uh, Leon, there's, or er, yeah, Leon, there's so many strong links with Leon and also Brazilians. He perfect links to Paqueta. He strong links to Marquinhos. He strong links to Awar. It, it, it's honestly, there's there's so many good options for links. He's 5'10", medium high as a CDM, who is also Hullet Gang. He is Hullet Gang, got all stats above 80. Medium high is very, very good. I think that will definitely utilize his abilities best on the pitch. Right footed, three star, three star. Wish he wish he was four star, four star, but you never really get what you want. Three star, three star is honestly fine because I don't really see him being in too many attacking positions, even though his shooting is only three less than his defending. This guy's more of a CDM, he's more of a facilitator, dribbler, passer, sort of stuff like that. He's very fast, very strong, can pass the ball like nobody's business. So let's get right into the in-game stats. Some some big things off the rip. He's got 80 acceleration at 86 sprint speed. So I think you're gonna wanna put a shadow on this guy. I think you're going to want to get the pace up, the acceleration up as high as you possibly can because when there's a gap of six between sprint speed and acceleration, it tends to not go well unless it's in favor of the acceleration being higher than the sprint speed. But he, he should be fast enough. He should be fast enough for the shadow and definitely get the defensive stats up a bit more. They're 83, but there's some of them are pretty solid. Moving on to the shooting. The shooting stats are weird. It's 80 overall base, but he's got 93 shot power and 87 long shots with 72 finishing. Oh, yeah. So, if you get this guy in a shooting position, on the edge of the box, he's coming in at a midfield deep run, and you just let one rip, you try and green time it, I think you're going to have good, good success doing that because of the shot power and the long shots. They might go everywhere because of the finishing, but they... They might go in the top bins. And if they go in the in top bins with that kind of pace, it's going to be absolutely mental. The amount of goals and the type of goals you're going to be able to score with this guy. Also, moving on to the passing. He's at 91 short passing, 93 long passing, which is some of the best passing stats I've seen. His base stat's 86. And that's because his, his crossing's bad. You're not going to cross in the midfielder. He's a midfielder. He's central. He's not out wide. He's not going to cross. His curve's bad. Doesn't matter. Curve is the same thing as like crossing pretty much. Free kicks aren't great, but his short passing and long passing is those are the, those that, that's what matters. That's where you're going to get the business from the midfield. And it's both, both above 90 without an upgrade. So that's really good. Moving on to the dribbling, 88 dribbling, and he's got 88 balance, 88 agility. That is more than enough, more than enough for someone who's 5'10". He's going to feel really good on the ball because that dribbling stat combined with the pace, combined with the height is really going to make him be like someone that's just super smooth super fast in game and be able to cut off passing lines even when you have a press sort of dribble pass out of fadeaway passes are going to be really big with this guy he's got 89 ball control 87 dribbling and 89 composure the composure is big because his finishing so low that he needs good composure to try and help but rip those long shots again and again but once as i said earlier shadow is probably the chem style for this guy so let's get on to where he's going to make make his living in the midfield and that is interceptions and sort of tackles in the sense 89 interceptions 80 for defensive awareness, 84 standing tackle, and 82 sliding tackle. So think about it like this. If he hits the plus two overall, that's going to 91 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 86 standing tackle, and 84 sliding tackle. And that is before a shadow. So if you put a shadow on, that's going to be plus 10, and that's going to be very, very beneficial for you as defensive awareness needs to get up a bit. Same with standing tackle. Interceptions, I think, are fine. Interceptions are very important for midfielders. Is that That's where they make their, that's where they make their living, interceptions. They do make a lot of standing tackle stuff like that, but... I think his his strength and stuff should really help with that. He's got 83 strength, 87 aggression, and that is definitely something that is going to help him really slide into tackles and put, put a shoulder in there, really put a body on someone and win the ball in the midfield. He also has long shot taker trait and outside that foot shot, two of the best traits for what he's going to do on the offensive end of the pitch. If he's running in deep from midfield, a late run, and you see the ball bouncing to him, you better power that 
thing up three bars and try and green time it out to the foot shot because with the long shots he has and both these traits he is going to be an absolute menace just make sure you hit it on his right foot because three star weak foot with 93 shot power and 72 finishing doesn't really look like it's going to go well but those are some great traits great stats for a free card and especially links wise he's going to fit in your teams i know a lot of you guys have league and defenses and, and also brazilians so very good there that's really going to do it for the video boys i hope you guys enjoyed the player review and if you please leave a like and subscribe